park one. Okay. So let's see about this. So do I not use it? Uh, is it just passive? Oh, no, I guess it's not passive. So maybe I equip it like a weapon. I only have five of them. Wondering if I shouldn't uh, try to get more of that. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, let's save it again just in case I'm right about that. So if this doesn't work or if I don't have enough, I'll go look for uh, additional ammunition for that. I'm not sure ammunition is the right word, but additional usage. Kind of wondering how much, how how much progress percentage-wise I've made in this game. You made it through the track. Well done. It wasn't just luck that let you defeat Tempest. Ah, oh, shit! I missed the cutscene. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> He didn't, definitely didn't say that before, though. I wonder what that was about. So defense weapon. So I dodge. Let's, so let's say I dodge this beam of his. Then what? Do I just run up and hit him? I guess we'll find out. So that's clearly not working. So do I want to get underneath him and make it make the beam hit him back? Is that how this works? Seems to be really well shielded. I don't, I don't really know how to deal with that. Uh, a halberd, maybe. Oh, it's doing something to him. Is there any Metatron nearby? I don't know the map. Damage to the surroundings increasing due to battle. Damage index exceeding 50%. I'll blast you. I'm not really hurting him enough though. I mean, I'm hurting him, but. I'm not really sure how that helps me. Oh, I'm dead. Well, we still get to see the cutscene that I missed. Well, see, so it seems like he stops doing the laser thing after you uh, just after you decoy it a couple of times. 
Okay, let's do this again. Yeah, let's equip decoy again. <laughs> My dog's actually barking. Hope you can't hear that. But <sighs> you made it through the trap. Well done. It wasn't just luck that let you defeat Tempest. Why do you do such terrible things? I don't know. If you kill me, I'll lose control over the raptors. Wanna try? Why would you say that? Like, why would you give me a further motivation to destroy you? <laughs> I just had to do that the whole time, okay. Let's see if uh, Javelin will hurt him anymore. So it does hurt him, but it's not very good range. I'm taking a lot of damage in return. Okay. Oh crap, he's got a second form. <laughs> Um, I think I want decoy again. I have no idea what he's gonna do. <laughs> now take this. Damage oh, crap. To the is increasing due to battle. Damage index exceeds 75%, indicating major damage. It's all over. Okay. I don't like that there's no Metatron here. At least none that I can see. How do I avoid that? Well, I did better that time, but still. I like the I like the damage that the uh, javelin does, but it's just too short range. I have to get too close. Maybe the sniper ability, or even phalanx is really is really a uh, short range. Uh, Geyser might hurt him. Yeah, I'm not stopping until I've at least beaten him. How do I avoid that? I don't think that hurt him at all. Uh, decoy might work. Ok, 
Okay. We are heading for the outer area of the battle zone. to do about and the halberd might puncture the shield but nice Found something that works, but I might die right now. <laughs> Another close call. <laughs> Wow. Oh, my hands are sweating. Whoa. Okay, so raptors appear to be neutralized. They have stopped attacking the colony. That destroyed target below us must have been controlling the pilotless raptors flying over the colony. So we saved the colony? As far as this area here, everything has been saved. You mean the enemy is still around? Naturally. Won't you tell me to destroy it this time? If I did, would you do it? No. I can understand the principle of your trying to spare human life. It is illogical, but I cannot help that. Now what? Kind of... Yeah, I think I at least want to see what this is what is next before I stop. That was pretty intense though, I gotta, <laughs> gotta admit that. I'm curious as to what awaits us now. From the Atlantis has been received. This is Atlantis. Is that you, Leo? Huh? Yeah. I have just contacted the person you will give that orbital frame to. His name is Thunderheart, one of our colleagues. I'll put you through to him. Thunderheart. Testing, testing. Leo, this is Thunderheart. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. What? He's just a kid. What? Elaine, are you really sure this kid can replace Alan? How the hell do I know? I'm sure he can. And Thunder, report on conditions. Sure. Listen, Leo. After Barham attacked Antilia, they declared a state of emergency and closed every single route to the spaceport. Barham forces are also on their guard, so it'll be a difficult mission for you. So, we will put Jehudi into the linear driver that connects the central part of the spaceport with the outside ring of the colony. The entrance is near the warehouse, which is under the mountainous area. You'll have to get warehouse. there on your own. But how? There's supposed to be a dam at the end of the block where you are now. Under that dam, there should be a warehouse area for carrying out Metatron. We will meet there. I expect some fighting getting through, but as far as I know, that's the safest route. More fighting? Do you mean I have to do it all again? Of course. What are you in? It's a fighting orbital frame, isn't it? I'm not like you guys. Don't think that I'm a killer just like you. What? I only came here because I was told to give this to you. 
so hurry up. Come and get it. I've had enough of this. Leo. Elena, I can't understand you either. People will be killed, you understand? Me and Selvis, we all might be killed over this. We all know that story. No, you don't. That's why Alan, one of your colleagues, had to die. You don't give a damn about those who die. You think it goes with the territory. That's enough, you little twerp. Alan was... Alan was Elena's boyfriend, and my best friend. Of course we miss him. What? I don't care if you're a boy or a complete stranger. You have no idea how important your task is, do you? But you're the only person who can operate the orbital frame now. I'm nearing the warehouse area. Just meet me there. I'll listen to your sob story then. Just get there first. Leo. I understand you're at a loss after being dragged into all of this. But we need you to help us a little more. Please. Okay. I'll go. That's what you want, isn't it? What? I'll go to the warehouse. Is that what you want me to do? Yes. Thank you. Sorry about what I said earlier. I mean, what I said about Alan. <sighs> Never mind. I was ready for this. See you. Okay. The mountaintop in front of us is the dam, our destination. What was that? I spot a flying orbital frame near the top of the mountain. It appears to be armed with particle projection cannon. That's bad, to isn't it? the dam from the air is almost suicide. There's nowhere to hide. Then what should I do? There is a rainwater gully, like a riverbed, on the slope of the mountain. I suggest you fly low along the gully up to the top of the mountain. Fly low along the gully. I see. Uh, I think I actually will stop. Uh, that sounds like it's going to be pretty involved. But yeah, I, I like how we're, how we're having this emotional argument with people we know nothing about. <laughs> Whatever. So it's still more like way more plot advancement or like you no know, character development than we've gotten so far, really. So, uh, yeah, we had a pretty intense, epic fight with that boss and made some kind of progress. So next time we will venture into the mountain area and uh, try to meet up with this character. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for listening if you listened, and I'll be back. This has been Edwardovich, signing off.